There was no consent. There was no planning. There wasn't a dialogue. It was just meant to be the way he wanted it. It was just damage. Honor-based violence has always been there. We didn't always call it honor-based violence. The word honor is controversial. Some people feel it shouldn't ever be used in the context of violence against women. But it struck me that the problem was never going away, that there were always accusations of oh, racism if people tried to talk about it, and women were being silenced. And Southall Black Sisters was one of the first places that you could go to. They were always there, and they always were trying to fight it. Banaz Mahmood was killed in an honour killing by her father, her uncle, and five male cousins. She had left her, her abusive husband and wanted to remarry to, to a man that her family found unsuitable. They accused her of bringing shame and dishonour onto the family. And the way they wanted to restore their honour was about through killing her, because honour killings are about restoring honour. So we have a holistic model of empowerment, which basically provides wraparound support for women who are facing domestic abuse, forced marriage, honor-based violence or abuse. So the aim is so that women will become independent and rebuild their lives. So I was married at 19, according to the customs. There was no freedom of movement. I was not allowed friends. I was strongly discouraged from keeping contact with my own parents, uh, bound to the house, not allowed to leave, verbally abused, um, be little, physically abused. It came across that South Hall Black sisters were able to help me. If SBS was not here today, I wouldn't have been here today as well. My mother got her second marriage. Then when she got married, she engaged me to her stepson, basically. He used to beat me at home, so they were not treating us as a human being. The National Lottery is helping people because if they don't fundraise, the organization wouldn't be able to help too many people like this. And there's no one, two, three, it's many people. It's thousands of people. I've been really struck when I've gone into some communities and you, you spend time talking to people, talking to police, talking to social workers, talking to women's groups, how much pressure there is to not talk about honour-based violence because it's embarrassing for the community that somehow it tars a whole community and that it suits racists to talk about it. So that's been the real challenge as a journalist. It's finding that balance between being scrupulously fair and not feeding racism, but also just calling a crime a crime. South Hall Black Sisters can accommodate victims like me. It is vital to have that support because they're changing lives. They are giving that ray of hope to women where they see no way out. Mm -hmm.